Hi, Stacy with Stalking Horse here. Gonna talk to you today about BMI coding and the diagnoses that go along with it, like underweight, overweight, obesity, morbid obesity. So that seems to be a little bit confusing for some providers and coders on how that documentation and coding works. So stay tuned to hear more about BMI coding. Welcome back. So we're going to talk about BMI and the diagnosis that goes along with it, like underweight, overweight, obesity, morbid obesity. So one of the biggest questions that comes up frequently is, well, if I'm coding the BMI, why do I need to code the, you know, obesity or the morbid obesity? So technically speaking, um, if you're doing, if you're coding for the BMI, then there should be a diagnosis that goes along with it. And providers tend to get a little bit confused about there being an actual diagnosis versus the measurement. So the BMI measurement that's there is just that. It's a, it's a measurement in the vitals. And sure, we can report that measurement. However, if the patient has a uh, disease or a diagnosis with that measurement or because of that measurement, that, that diagnosis should be documented. So coders can't just assume that uh, condition. So if a BMI is 57, we can't just assume that there is morbid or severe obesity and why they may be morbid, uh, have morbid obesity or severe obesity. We can't just assume that. So even though that qualification, that clinical criteria may be there that meets the mark for a particular diagnosis, we can't just code that or say it. So really the BMI actually shows the severity of the diagnosis. So if someone is diagnosed as being morbidly obese, for example, their BMI may be uh, within in a, in a certain range, right? And so that range, that BMI range, when we code that number, it tells us that severity. So it even more clearly identifies where the patient is within that particular diagnosis. So it helps to show the severity of that diagnosis. Also, there is a difference in coding between just obesity and severe or morbid obesity. It's a code change, right? So that E66.01 is that severe or morbid obesity, and that's a risk adjusting code. So um, again, that's different than just the obesity, uh, you know, that E66.9. So it's important for our providers to be specific on documenting that. And then also those that are maybe underweight. We can't just assume that the patient is cachectic or that they have, um, you know, a protein calorie malnutrition perhaps. We can't assume those things. Even though their BMI may be very low, maybe they're anorexic, like, you know, if it's hinting around that in the documentation, again, we can't assume that. So it has to be stated as a diagnosis and we should have the diagnosis as well as the BMI to show that severity. So hopefully that helps to clear things up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, also, you know, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get these videos every week. And just remember, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth.